It's a little dark. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, hello, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's good to see you. Today is a very exciting day because we are finally decorating for Christmas. I can almost hear the jingle bells. Or is that someone's <laughs> brakes behind me? We're filming a vlog. <laughs> Vlogging is so that hard. Is so obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are outside of a Christmas tree farm right now, so we're about to go pick out a Christmas tree. Let me just take you to a quick little story time before we jump into the whole vlog. Number one, remember, we're terrible at vlogging, so this is what you get. Number two, <laughs> Tori and I, being the Christmas people that we are, we... <sighs> you just have to burp? Is that... Tori and I, being the Christmas people that we are, we actually reserved a really tall tree last year. So we reserved one last year to get it this year. And we went to the lot this week, and guess what? They, for whatever reason, don't have any recollection of that, even though I have it on film from our last vlog that you can watch up here for Christmas. Um, yeah, so then we went around to several other lots, and we can't find any trees that'll fit in our house. All these yeah. all these trees are... Short. They're actually very similar to our first tree that we had. Aww. Gloria. Wonderful Cute. tree, Cute. but now we want a tree that kind of fits the house. So anyways, yeah. we are trying to sort this out. The living room we now have in the new house is very tall. And so we want the tree to like feel like it fits the living room. Mm -hmm. If we can't find a tall enough one, we are still going to get a little bit of a smaller one for our upstairs like loft area because we don't really share the exterior of our house online, but there is like a window that when you drive up, I really want to have a Christmas tree up there. Baby wants a Christmas tree. So we're super excited to finally yeah. be decorating for Christmas. We typically do it the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We're those people, by the way. We just haven't been able to get on it this year. We've um, had people in town, so. Yeah. yeah, we've had people in town, and this video is actually sponsored by World Vision, but more yes. on that later, because we can't wait to share with you so what they're doing and how yeah. we all can participate and how they're changing the world. Mm -hmm. But let's go find a tree. Let's go find a tree. Let's go find I also, I have my, t -shirt, my Christmas t-shirt on. This is from Abercrombie. And I've, I've had it for a week, and I think I've worn it uh, six days. So, here we are. I can confirm that. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. That is incredible. The dark is so rich looking. Even, look, look at this. What is this one? Look how dark this yeah, is. It's a black metal spruce. This is the same type? Wow. I've never seen ones like these. Where do you guys get these from? Michigan. Michigan. Good old Michigan. Our friend, we have a bunch of friends from Michigan. Though. Babe, look how big that tree is. I know, oh, it's crazy. Man, you guys are a, a, a diamond in the rough. <laughs> this is like a little paradise, isn't it? Babe, look at this one actually. There's a little spot right here, but it looks like this stuff could be pushed around, but see the height and the color and everything? It looks kind of blue. It could be a blue spruce. Wow, beautiful trees. Seriously. Really, really beautiful tree. Babe, when we have a little girl. Negative. <laughs> That's a negative ghost rider. Just for the bedroom. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. The bottom could maybe use a few trimmed off or something, yeah. but I think it looks great. Yeah, I think we got our two. All right, let's go. Awesome. One tree down. They're about to put that one in the car and then we're debating between two different trees, so. That's a big old tree, boys. Heck yeah. Baby's well, happy? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? You guys need to check out BG's seasonal sales. Tough. I'm obsessed. She loves Jesus. Mm -hmm. Makes my heart so happy. It's super. Oh, look, and we got the, the smaller one right back here. I said, I told her, I was like, I love your honesty. And she was like, girl, I wouldn't want to be anything other than honest because I walk with the Lord. And I was like, yes, you do. Amen. We got so, our trees. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. 
about this. I was honestly super stressed. <laughs> it's not the end of the world if we don't get a tree, but for us, we were just so excited about the whole feeling of getting our, our new home and decorating mm -hmm. it in the happiest time of the year. Yeah. So yeah, this was a true like hidden gem. BG's okay. seasonal sales in Bartow, Florida. A Christmas yeah. miracle. Seriously. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, let's go. Babe, we gotta name them. Yes. Um, I'm thinking, honestly, something super sophisticated for this one. We um, can name it. A we, girl or a boy? Is it a, we, we should be one girl and one boy. I think the smaller one's a boy and then the bigger okay. one up there is a girl. Honestly, mm -hmm. it could be Bruce the Spruce. Bruce like the that? Spruce. Shout out, Bruce. Shout out, Bruce. We love ya. Bruce I, the Spruce. This is tough. Imagine yeah. naming your own children. Imagine if we had spent time thinking of names that we already agreed upon. <laughs> okay. When we, when we know, we'll let y'all know. We just got home. It got dark so fast. We are about to unload these trees. And to be honest, we're both a little nervous. Um, so we're gonna unload these. I'm gonna go inside and make a list because I'm gonna run to Hobby Lobby, maybe Target, and Chad's gonna run to Lowe's because there's definitely more things oh we gosh. need. It's so heavy. Okay, I gotta help him do this thing. Look at this one. All right, she's gonna finish cutting that stuff off and we're gonna make a list of what we need. These are my favorite chocolates ever. These Brookside ones, the pomegranate. So good. We're gonna make a list. Gotta move the olive tree. Probably gonna move it to right over there. Do the Christmas tree in this area. We tried to get one that wasn't too Birthy, as they would say. Well, no, there's a different word. Bur well, she it's, said, it's not, it's what, not what's birthy. the birth? No, it's not. <laughs> she did. I, girth? I love you. Is it girth? So <laughs> is it girth? <laughs> <Near you. laughs> okay, so what's on the list so far? Stocking holders, a lot of extra lights yes. for the trees, because we only have enough. Should we show them what we kind of have? It's on the table. Can't show them the table yet. I can show them up close though. We'll show y'all what we currently have because I don't want to go over the top. It may look like a lot, but it's actually not. I think we only have enough stuff for the small tree, not the big tree, so yeah. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna see how many ornaments I can find. I'm, I think Hobby Lobby's my best bet. I think I want some ribbons, some cute little ribbons. Uh, we need another star Yes. for the top of the tree, a surge protector, a few little candles to set the mood, um, a new tree skirt. Do you have an idea of what kind of tree skirt you Neutral. Want? We have so many places to film in this A house. tree skirt. We, do we have the one for our old one or do the we throw it out? One. Yeah, we have, do we have it or did we throw it out? Well, I didn't throw it out, but you tend to throw things away. Did I, you throw it away? I used to watch that show Hoarders and it impacted me and now I just throw Did stuff away. Did you throw it away? I can't remember. Tree bags, we need tree bags. Yes. And then I think that's it. Perfect. All right. That's it. Let's I'm go. I'm falling off this stool, so. I made it back. I got a lot of good stuff. We'll do a haul whenever Tori gets back, but I ordered us some delivery. One of our favorite types of food is a pasta. Arrivederci. And so I got a spaghetti carbonara. And then Tori got this uh, cheese tortellini with, ooh, this cheese tortellini with um, some fried chicken cutlets on top. And so we're gonna eat that and then get ready to decorate. And I'm honestly, I just feel so excited because if you heard our podcast of this, like the day after Thanksgiving, it's like, it's time for Christmas. And I get so jacked for Christmas. And I didn't think we we're gonna be able to find anything. And I found a lot of great stuff. And so I'm about to eat good pasta. Got Christmas movies on. We're gonna get demonetized because we're gonna be playing Christmas music. This is the best. 
There we go. Wow. I might just try to do a little fancy, wow. Tori's home, I gotta hurry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called taxes. Mmm, cheesy. She's gonna love this. Y'all see that? Wow. How cute is that tree? It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Whew. Ooh, that looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Yours is the one with the chicken on it. This one? We can put it on a Christmas movie and watch it if you want. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Uh <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would have saw it. <laughs> I didn't see it. Welcome home. I was so excited about food, you guys. <laughs> she was just. I was like, which one's mine? I'm like, so okay. we're going to eat and then do the haul and then decorate. Let's do it. Okay guys, we just finished eating and we are about to give y'all a little haul of everything we bought because we truly, like I would love to go over the top this year and do garland everywhere mm -hmm. and just make this place like a magical cozy castle, but we're just not in that place right now. So yeah. we're gonna do what we can with what we have and what we <laughs> just got. So we will give you all that tour in a sec. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, we really want to talk to you about World Vision. They do such amazing things in so many countries, but something that really pulls at our heartstring is the Chosen program that they do. I'm sure you guys have heard of different sponsorships that you can do for children, but what they do that I think is so cool is they actually put it in the child's hand. And so with your monthly donation, the child can choose you as a sponsor and your money actually goes to helping fund the entire community um, and lift them out of poverty. And so I really encourage you, we'll link the blog post below so you can learn more about the Chosen program, how you can sponsor a child, what that looks like, and all the other amazing things that they're doing. Yeah. <clears throat> they're doing so many things and definitely check out the blog to see things that really kind of tug on your heartstrings. Like for me, clean water is a big one. It's really, really sad. It's where over 800 kids below the age of five die every day because of contaminated water. And like here I am drinking clean water all day, every day, showering, you know, and, and so there's so many things that we take for granted that yeah. for payments like the cost of like a Netflix mm -hmm. or, you know, your groceries or whatever it may be per month, you know, you can help change someone's entire life. Yeah. And so we were greatly impacted and empowered by this organization. Yeah. They're a Christian humanitarian. humanitarian. <laughs> <laughs> They're a Christian humanitarian organization yeah. and we love their mission and we love what they stand for. So mm -hmm. definitely to go check out the blog yeah. in the description. Oh, side note about them that I just think is so cool. Y'all have Actually, it depends on how long you've been here, but I did a like Girl Talk episode with my friend Riley years ago wow. now, and I need to link her story below because she went through something so crazy as a kid, um, but they, her and her family survived a tsunami, yeah. and World Vision was actually the organization that had the biggest impact on mm -hmm. her um, in that time, and if you want, I think it's only like a five minute video, but if you watch that video and you don't cry, y'all, it is powerful and it's so cool to see what they're doing because I do feel like they are that group that are just the hands and feet of Jesus here on earth. And yeah, really cool. I don't, I don't know why I just got emotional, but um, they're doing some really cool stuff and we think that y'all would um, really love them. It fits them in out. with the whole ethos of this channel. Yeah. People helping people, gifts that give, yeah. so many things. We love them and we hope y'all do too. You ready for the haul? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, here's everything that I got. I got a magnetic door wreath hanger. We don't even know if this will work, but we didn't want to put something permanent on our door, so we got this magnetic, it's heavy duty. Yes. I wonder if it'll work. I bought all these adjustable. Oh, it's two. So you did get two. I think, oh, it's a two piece? Yeah. The one, two. I got these adjustable garland ties. I got a bunch of these. That way, if we can put stuff on the railing. Ah! What was that noise? Y'all, we needed lights. Oh, baby. That's 250 feet worth of lights. And I bought these little kind of twinkly looking ones that I think will be a lot of fun. I bought these timers so the Christmas lights will turn on and off at certain times. Gotta preserve that power. That's 
cool. And they, they also before. have plugs on the sides of them, which is which is rad. Okay, we will do our best to get some of these things linked below for you guys. That's so cool. I know people are gonna ask about that. I got Christmas tree bags. You basically install your Christmas tree with this, when you install it, you put it, whenever you set it up, you put this already below it, and then whenever you're done, you just pull the bag over and you're good to go. I got a funnel. If you're in college, this is not what that's for. This is to water your tree. I got burlap because nice, I babe. saw it. Is that all I got? That's all I got. Good for you. Your turn. I got this adorable little tree from Target. I just think that's the cutest little nugget. So I just got that. I got a lot of random ornaments. I was just trying to stay in the neutral theme. Is anyone surprised? No. And then I got a lot of little Christmas, um, like the ornament little things that you put on. And then I got this one, which I don't think I will use the pink ones in here, but honestly, they were out of like everything. I don't know if people in Florida just start shopping for Christmas in August, but I felt like everything was like picked over. Um, and then I got these scented candles that smell honestly like the volcano candles. They smell so good. They're the threshold. And then I got from Hobby Lobby. I thought these are really cute. We'll see how we like them, but they are stocking holders. And there's like two different little ones and they're neutral. And I feel like one kind of looks like a girl and one kind of looks like a boy. So I thought that was cute. And then I got another one of these little trees from Target. I, had, I got this one the other day, <laughs> but I think they look cute together. And then my favorite purchase that I'm so excited about is this tree from Target. It's in a little pot and I'm gonna put it right here by that mirror because I feel like I take a lot of pictures for like like to know it there so I'm gonna put that there. I'm so excited. I might even go back and get another one if they have more in stock later. Okay this is actually from a shop um, in Dothan, Alabama and I will link their online store below. Baby where are you going? But I have this really cute like vintage white and wood little village. I said vi village, white and wood village. Anyways, there's a bunch of cute little ones here. Well, there's three. And then the little church, which I think is adorable. So I'm gonna use that on the secret door shelf. And then I also got from them these really cute vintage bells, which I'm gonna hang on our stockings which we got these, this is not even a, a haul from my recent trip, this is just like my stuff. These we got last year. So Chad and Tori. And I'm gonna put the little bells on those. And then I got these little baby trees from Hobby Lobby. I think they were like five bucks. And then I got a little candle from Hearth and Hand. I got these for underneath the tree and I'm not sold, I'm really not. But we might just have to make them work. I tend to like a basket or a big pot underneath the Christmas tree. For some reason, I feel like I'm already late to the game. It's December, it's the beginning of December and I already feel like I'm late to the Christmas game. So that's what I've got so far and then I'll show y'all what I've already unpacked that we've like kind of accumulated over the years over on that table. Wait, just kidding. I also got this mug and I just think it's so cute. <gasps> okay. So here are more of those little vintage bells that I was telling y'all about. Here are some really cute little star ornaments from Shop Haven. I got these little trees from Target a couple days ago. This little tree has a light inside. And then these are the ornaments that we currently have. We're gonna see how far they go. And then I have like a couple little trees that I'm gonna place places. So let's start decorating. Actually, let's bring these trees in here first. <laughs> so I have a feeling that's gonna be a situation in itself. Tree number one, tree number two, with my number one babies. Thank 
Christmas. What are we doing? So this is one of our Christmas traditions where we take our annual Christmas tree photo. You guys can see the first three here, and now we're going to be taking the fourth. This one's going to be a little different because we can't hug from yeah. our knees. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be super interesting. Let's try. 10 seconds. Half down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, oh. <laughs> That's gotta be it. You just, <laughs> you just tried to sneak for a longer kiss. That's gotta be time, right? <laughs> it works. You like it? That's gotta be time, right? <laughs> we got it. We got it, folks. Now it's time to decorate. Okay, you guys, I think we are closing out this vlog. It is, I don't even know what time. Do y'all think that that vlog was lit? It's definitely after midnight, and there's definitely more we want to do to the tree. We still have to put the star on top. I want to make some little ribbons mm -hmm. and everything else, so stay tuned. I'll probably be posting more of those little details like on Instagram. We forgot to do this last week or this week because we didn't post a video on Thursday, but we do have a subscriber of the week. Hey. We're back with it now that we're back to posting two videos a week. And the subscriber is Cassie. Cassie, we love you so much. I just want to share a quick story about Cassie real quick. We did a super, super last minute informal meet and greet. Okay. Basically, yeah. Milena was like, we should do this. And we were yeah. like, who would want to come see us? And it turns out Cassie would. <laughs> Cassie drove four hours well, that morning. One way, and then four yeah. hours back. And yeah. she was wearing that Be Kind State University merch. Cassie, we love you so much. Yeah, you know we love you. Yeah. Happy subscriber of the week. We're so tired. We're gonna go to bed. We hope that y'all enjoyed the- We gotta do a podcast for the people's bevis. <laughs> it never stops, the daily devotional grind. Because we're staying up so late, to do a podcast for you all, make sure you go listen to it. Yay, and like this video. <laughs> we love you guys, and we'll be talking to you in the next one. Bye-bye. Do-do-do-do.